order to receive your turnaround from God. It's important you learn to leave the past behind. The Apostle Paul wrote about this in Philippians 3, verse 12 to 14, when he described his choice to forget the past and to press on to the upward call of God. You've probably met people who love to live in the past. Day after day, they, they nurse old wounds, they relive past tragedies. They recall in great detail every time they were maligned and mistreated. Often these people struggle to find intimacy. They're haunted by memories of people they trusted who abused them, let them down, broke their trust. And it's hard for these kinds of people to learn to trust God because they recall a prayer maybe 20 years ago that God didn't answer the way that they felt he should have answered. What do you say to people who are so bound by the heartaches of yesterdays that they miss the great plans God has for their life today? How can they shake off? How can you shake off the shackles of your past and experience a new beginning from God? The life of the prodigal son reached a turning point in Luke 15 when the Bible says he came to himself. He was feeding pigs. He realized he was reaping the bitter fruit of his poor choices. And he knew that if he stayed on this current path, his life would surely continue its downhill slide. You know, until people come to this kind of moment, this moment of truth, they're going to continue to wallow in the pig pen of yesterday's faults, failures, hurts. The turning point can't come until you're prepared, until you are truly desperate enough to turn and go in a new direction. You may be saying, David, I, I really want to turn around, but I'm troubled with past sins and failures and with the many hurts and the heartaches that I've suffered. You don't know what I've gone through. The devil's taunting me. Well, if he is, I have great news for you today. God can get you out of the enemy's pig pen of failure and despair. Isaiah tells you how God is going to do this in your life. It says, behold, the former things have come to pass. And now I declare new things. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise from the end of the earth. Friend, I encourage you, spend some time meditating on this wonderful promise from God. It's a new day for you because he is declaring new things in your life. Instead of the devil's pig pen, he wants to show you, God wants to show you his purpose and his provision for your life. And remember this important verse, there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Don't let the devil bring up any condemnation in your life about your past. Don't let him lie to you and say that you've done things in your life that are so terrible God can and will never forgive you. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Hold on to God's promises and the truth of his word. There is no condemnation. You have been forgiven. You have been redeemed. You have been set free. And God has a wonderful plan for your life and a plan to give you hope and a new beginning. You're going to like that new life. I promise you. God bless you.